Hello, today we're going to look at how to do input in Java. So you maybe already used this job show input dialog. What you're actually doing when you use this is you're using J option pane. It's a program written by somebody else. We call these classes in Java and it contains lots of methods. So show option di show input dialog is a method. All the methods do something useful for us. Just put the little cat here to keep you happy. Okay, so to input a string, we'll say string str equals j option pain dot show input dialog, input some text. And I hope that you've already created a shortcut so that you, you can just press a few keys and this gets done automatically for you because it's something you're going to type in quite a lot. So once you have typed out string something j option pain equals j option pain dot show input dialog you'll see that j option pain always gets underlined in red the first time you type it into a program and that's because you haven't done your import you need to do import java x dot swing dot star or if you just hold the control key down then press shift and then press i on your keyboard ta -da, the import Java X dot swing dot option pane happens for you automatically and that saves you a lot of time and that error will go away from your J option pane. So to input an integer, you'll say int num equals integer dot pass int and then you've got your J option pane dot show input dialog inside the red brackets. So you've added integer dot pass int at the beginning note the capital i on integer that is another class you're actually using when you do that and pass int is another method then you've got your red brackets your black bracket it will be but your bracket at the beginning and your bracket at the end that you add to input a real number it's actually a double in java so small d double num equals capital D double dot parse double and brackets J option pane dot show input dialog another bracket on the end so we've added double dot parse double and then our two brackets then to input a character we say char ch equals J option pane dot show input dialog and at the end we put dot char at zero we didn't put character dot pass character that's not going to work it's dot char at with a zero what we're actually doing here we're extracting the first character from the string that j option pane dot show input dialog returns don't forget that dot char at zero for a character to input a boolean it's boolean b equals boolean dot pass boolean easy so integer double and boolean it's the type dot pass and then the type again and then your brackets at the beginning and the end of the j option pane dot show input dialog so remember that a boolean is just a true or a false did you know that if you input nonsense on your keyboard when you're being prompted to input a boolean it will default to a false. It's not going to give you an error. So, but you have to type true true to get a true value. So here's the summary. I'm not going to go through it all again, but if you want to make a note or take a picture of this for yourself to, to keep this summary somewhere, um, you can do that. And here's a little exercise for you just to practice these five different types. Input the following information about a cat, its name, its weight, which will be a real number, its age, its gender, which will be M or F, so a character, and whether it has a microchip or not, true or false. And then you need to display the data as, as shown here. That would be done with job show message dialog. I will go through that in another video if you're not sure how to do that. You can just do a system.out.print line and display the information in a similar way. I'm going to show you the solution now on the next slide.
So if you want to try it out, please pause the video here. So here's the solution. And I'll let you go through that on your own and check it with your solution. And that's all for today. I hope this video has helped you. And please subscribe and like it. This will help make sure that YouTube suggests it to other people and more students can also learn about how to do inputs. Thank you for watching.